Welcome back. So we want to evaluate the integral e raised power z t over z squared plus one if t is a positive number and c is a circle of radius three centered at the origin. So the first thing to solve this problem is to find the poles. So solution. So we first find the poles and poles are found by equating the denominator to zero. So this is the same thing as saying z squared plus one equals to zero, which is the same as saying z squared equals to negative one, which implies z equals to plus or minus i, i.e. z equals to i and z equals to negative i are simple poles. So they are simple poles because this function can be written as z plus i, z minus i, when you get to zero, each of these two linear terms in z have power one. So that's why we call them simple poles. Immediately you find the poles, then you have to draw the circle to know whether all of them lies within or outside the circle. So uh, this, So uh, the circle is having radius three centered at the origin. So this, you expect this one to be three i. So two i, i, zero, negative i, negative two i, negative three i, negative one, and then negative two. And then this will be negative three, this is one, this is two, uh, this is three. So you see that our Z1, which is I, will be at this point. Our Z2, which is I, negative I is at this point. So all the poles lies within the circle. So we'll now for us to calculate the integral, we'll be calculating the integral for each of these two given calls. So for z equals to i, so we have the function integral along C of e raised power z t over z squared plus one dz can be written as integral along C e raised power z t z plus i z minus i dz. And then for me to get z equals to i, then I may, uh, then the pole must be have found when my denominator is z minus i. So I'll have to remove this z plus i in the denominator by simply dividing that term in the numerator and both denominator so that this and this process, and this will give me integral e raised power z t over z plus i and then divided by divided by z minus i dz. So we use the Cauchy integral formula, which says that the integral of 
f of z over z minus a dz is given by two pi i times f of a. So in this case, our a is i and our f of z. Now, after re rearranging this function in this form or the integrand in this form, so this is what forms our f of z. So e raised power z t divided by z plus i. So which means that f at a is the same as f at i, which is e raised power i t over i plus i, which is e raised power i t over two i. And you see by Euler's identity, you know that e raised power i theta is given by cosine of theta plus i sine theta. This is by Euler's identity or simply the Euler identity. Then f of a will be given by f of i, which will be cos of theta plus i sine theta, but theta for this given function is t. So because of t, cos of t plus i sine t, you now you divide by two i. So that's the integral. That's for z equals to i, the integral along c of e raised power z t over z squared plus one dz will be two pi i times this value here, cos of t plus i sine t, you divide by two i. And this i and i cancels, two and two cancels. So that we get i into cos t plus i sine t, which can be written as pi cosine of t plus pi sine t. So let me call this one integral one. And then let's go to z equals to negative i. z equals to negative i. So we have the integral along c of e raised power z t over z squared plus one with z can be written as integral along c e raised power z t z plus i z minus i dz. Now for me to get negative i, so I need z plus i to be in the denominator. So I have to remove this other term by simply dividing both the numerator and denominator by z minus i. So this is the same as the integral along c, e raised power z t over z minus i divided by z plus i and then the z. So if we relate this one to the general formula integral along C of f of z, z minus a dz, then equals to two pi i f of a, 
this by Kochi integral formula. So uh, here, our A is negative I, our F of Z will be given by now this part after we transforming, this is what forms the F of Z. So we have E raised power ZT over Z plus I minus I minus I So which implies f of a is the same as f of minus i, which will be e raised power. So when I put negative i, I'll get negative ti over negative i minus i, which will be e raised power minus ti over minus 2i. And also by Euler's identity, uh, f of a equals to f of minus i will be negative e raised power negative t i over 2i which is negative cosine of t plus i sine t actually because this is a negative so I have negative sign here. So negative, and then over two, I. So therefore, the integral of e raised power z t over z squared plus one dz will be two pi i f of a, which is two pi i f of minus i, which is two pi i times, now this will be negative into cos t minus i sine t, I divide through by 2i. So this cancels with this. So I get this as minus pi. After I can open cosine of t plus pi i sine of t. Let me call this one integral two. So the integral of e raised power zt over z squared plus one dz along c will be given by i1 plus i2, which will be i1 is pi cos t plus i pi sine t plus this one is minus pi cos t plus i pi sine t. So this and this cancels out. So we'll have two pi i sine of t. So therefore that will be the solution to that particular problem. And we have done twice because all the two poles were within the specified circle. Even if it was giving us three poles which are lying within the circle, so then we have to work out three different solutions and then add all of them to get the value of the specified integral. Thank you.